Hello, members, and thanks for tuning in. Let's look at some meteorites. Let's see, that was easy. <laughs> that's it. That, that's the intro. Pat, could you do me a favor and uh, highlight my camera? Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at some uh, some <clears throat> rare things today. Um, and the first thing, I'm not even going to tell my crew what it is. I mean, they have a kind of a clue, but I don't think they know what it is. Well, I haven't told them what it is. So if I could have you guys draw your attention to this and tell me what is that? Is, is that it a meteorite or is it an impact type? Impact type. Five? I heard impact type. That's uh, correct. 15915? Yeah. Oh. I, I was just going to offer to show that one too. <laughs> oh, right on. Well, um, don't well, I, I, I don't know who that is, but feel free to share it and then any knowledge you have of it. So I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about it because I literally just got it, but it has crust. Yeah, it's got spherules. Yeah, oh, little yes. uh, iron sulfide spherules in it. I think that's yeah, what we're looking at. Very yeah. special meteorite, Topher, and you'll want to do a nice polish on one side. Okay. Yeah, I can show you mine too. Mm. It's really cool looking. Yeah. So oh, it's that's even so cool. Uh, it has some translucent. Yeah. Or it's, uh, is that crystal? Yep. Yeah. So that is really, really cool because, I mean, that's why we buy meteorites, right? To look through them. Yeah. Look at the size of the crystals in this one. <clears throat> and I don't even have it uh, labeled as far as like what makes it an ungrouped achondrite, but this is going, this is part of my um, ungrouped achondrite collection now. It's uh, N, N member algae with instatite, is what the Met Bowl says. Yeah. Nice. This is one of the, um, so this one is related to, um, the other one that Craig and Mark had with Zargalane. Kazargalane uh, zero, zero, zero two two, yes. Um, but it's and then this one also shows those same uh, sul uh, uh, iron sulfide spheres, but they're wildly bigger in fifteen nine one five than they are in Kazargalane. Um, so I finally got a piece for myself. Nice. So that's what that one is. That really is a pretty meteorite. There's and, there's a lot of real estate in there for four grams. Yeah. yeah. With, with a little bit of crust. Marissa did some awesome photos of hers that maybe if we ask nicely, she'll show. This one right here, I don't even know how to pronounce this. And I, I hope someone read the thing on uh, Facebook and can comment. Um, why is this all bright blue? This is the new Albright that Timmy Moo, mm -hmm. Timmy Moon 001 or something like that. Oh, the other one I really like is Pine Nuts. Yeah, we're not cheap. Pine Nuts, I love Pine Nuts. That was my nickname in high school. Hmm. <clears throat> that thing is beautiful for an Albright. Yeah. This big slice looks a lot different than the little pieces that you had. It's yeah. really captures so much more of it. I'd love to make a countertop out of that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, but seriously, somebody in here knows why it's blue. Yeah. Um, there was a post on Facebook having a conversation about it, and I really wish I paid more attention when I was reading it because I thought it was just an artifact of the cutting, cleaning, polishing, whatever, oxidation, whatever. But no, it's about its formation. And Instatite can get like that because even if you look at some of the alhagunias, the deep, uh, large pieces of alhagunia that are less weathered um, will have that kind of bluish center tint to them, bluish gray center tint. Fantastic. Yeah, and those are the ones you pay for. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that one. That's a 47 gram slice. Yeah, which is like bigger than oh i don't even have a slice i have an end cut so i was gonna say it's bigger than mine um so that's really nice um this is a diagonite and i wanted to see if you guys could uh help me understand exactly what i'm looking at this is nwa one five three three niner 
Yes, I said Niner. It's a diagonite. And hold on. Doot, doot, doot. There we go. Look at this beautiful thing. Does anyone want to guess the weight of a diagonite the size of my hand? 73 grams. Higher. 109. You are approaching it uh, over 144 grams. Wow. I just love diagonites. I really do. This one has some really unique stones in it. When you look at this one right here. Mm -hmm. Looks like, like class with class in a class. Yeah. Almost like a spin effect type of texture. Mm -hmm. um, but this right here is the the showstopper of inclusions. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So Sue and I are having an argument, not really an argument, but it's going to be an argument about this slice. If you guys don't buy it, I have to find a way to afford it and put it into my personal collection. So <laughs> I really uh, hope- <laughs> crystals are really cool too. Where are they? Go up by that big class. There's one right in the center. But if you go up by that big class, there's a little group of them. Oh, yeah. Left side right there. You see that, like that thing right there? Is that yeah, you keep going all the way on the edge of the screen. There you go. Oh, oh gotcha. Oh, yeah. There you go. It almost looks like diaptase, but it could be just. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, beautiful brecciation in this too. Yeah, there's another mm -hmm. one right there. Yep. Wow. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, you know what that says? You're gonna wind up keeping it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell, <laughs> tell Sue that I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Maybe I'll just snap it right now. Oh, come on. This is not express. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not. Oh. You are recording this for, uh, yeah. for the yeah. YouTube, right? <laughs> um, all right. Here is my last and final uh, entry. And if someone can guess this, I'd be impressed. This is one of those where you wipe off your fingers. What? Am I holding? Is that a Martian? Mm -mm. No, nope. it's a carbonaceous, isn't it? It is a carbonaceous. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me try to get the fusion crust. I believe this is the fusion crust. Right. Uh, CK? Um, no, it is not. CV3? It oh. is not CB either. Oh my goodness. Okay, is it a is it a you'll never guess because it doesn't exist. Is it you are looking... a, like it's a, C, a CT on groups? You are correct. Thank you. Yes. This is the, closing out my show and tell, and I'm glad all, the only one that remembered was Ben that we are having a uh, a theme of things that are proposed new classes. So what we're looking at here is uh, NWA 14139. Ooh. It's it's a carbonaceous chondrite uh, and non wait anhydrous mineral plotting C3 ungrouped. Ooh, which nice. means it's pair and there's 192 uh, grams total. It is paired with Telecoast 001 that only has 60 grams. And it's so cool that it lists in the Met Bowl as a single stone with a shield appearance. So you know it was just one stone tearing in, oriented, and that's all you got. And someone found it. Wow. So, yeah. So this is one, this is um, eight grams, I think, almost nine grams. Yeah, 8.84 .8 grams. Uh, pretty much a, a, a very large individual. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I should have, if I should just keep it as is or have it butterflied. I have dry a saw. Cut. I will cut. <laughs> dry, dry cut butterfly. I can't dry cut it though, but <laughs> I, I could, I could lube it with my drool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that, that's Allison. <laughs> Prairie drool drools. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the uh, show and tell that I had. So I appreciate you guys watching that. And now to the boring stuff. <laughs>